Welcome to the channel everybody and today we're going to be making an adapter plate to connect that engine to that transmission. Let's get right to it. Alright, so in normal circumstances, if you're lucky, you can go and pick yourself up an adapter plate, just like this one right here, or something like this that I have in my V8 swapped MR2. So in our circumstances, we lack the fancy machining equipment to make a nice CNC aluminum piece, so we'll be using two pieces of plate steel and sandwiching them together. Let me show you my plan. First up is to make a matching paper template on both the transmission and engine side. Being careful to mark all of the mounting locations. Okay, so I have my template all cut out. And as you can see, I have this 11 and a half inch diameter circle in the center we have to cut out. And I lack the proper tools to do that. However, I'm cool with coming up with sketchy stuff. And this is what I come up with. Just my angle grinder attached to a piece of one inch bar and it pivots at the 5.75. This should give me that right, the correct inner diameter. We're gonna turn this nasty thing on. And it's gonna come around here and cut us out the circle, hopefully. So let's see how that goes. Plate number one complete. Now we're gonna repeat the exact same process and do it on the engine side. Let's get right to it. So here is the plate all finished up, now bolted to the engine block, and now we need to discuss a custom flywheel. So this giant piece of metal right here is the original flywheel from the K-Swap series that we did earlier. You can see the cage on this thing pushes it out to give you room to make your adapter plate, as well as this is already set up to mount to that Porsche transaxle, has the right input shaft, the pilot bearing right there, as well as the clutch surface is already made to fit that that Porsche clutch that I just showed you previously. Why this won't work is this is the bolt pattern that fits the K-Series motor. Now here's what my plan to do is. Now here is looking at the reverse side of that flywheel that fits the K-Series. Now my initial plan here is because this whole thing bolts together, you can see there's like eight bolts that goes around the side of this. I can pop this plate off and I'm assuming that I can go to a machine shop and have this ring gear cut from these welds that are just around the corners. We'll cut that off and we'll remachine this plate just to have the Toyota center to meet that Toyota crank. Okay, six weeks later and a change of plans, we've come up with a flywheel solution. So this was the original flywheel meant for the K-Swap motor. 
and I mentioned that we were going to completely build an entirely new one until I found out that would be over $3,000. So what we wound up with was modifying that truck flywheel I used for fitment earlier. So this has been milled on both sides, front and back, and this shoulder right here is what accepts the actual crown or hat off of the case swap. So right now I'm going to show you how to assemble these two and we'll get this thing ready to get on the next stage which is balancing. Now for another trip back to the machine shop. All right, I got a quick turnaround with this thing at the machine shop. This is actually from the engine machine shop. So you can see they rotated this thing, they've marked it here, and they've marked it on the bottom where the opposite side was. So this is the side they had to remove some material from. If we spin it around, this is the original spot that lined up with that material was originally taken from. So right in that corner there, they took an additional three ounces out of it. So now we have a perf perfectly balanced flywheel. We can get back to building the adapter plate. any further I need to test and make sure that this starter is meshing up with the ring gear perfectly so to do that I just have a jumper wire set up and this jumper wire here to jump the solenoid and we're gonna see how this turns if everything is working smoothly we can go ahead and weld that nut into place Okay, so now that I have the transmission successfully made it to this motor, you can see that I have this 30 millimeter gap right here that we need to fill all the way around. And to do that, we'll be using this 30 mil cut plate that I have right here. And we're just gonna bend it to the contours necessary and get it welded in. So here's a look at one bar done and bent up. You can see how that fits all the way down. It's gonna work out just fine. Unfortunately, I did trim this trans plate just a little shy. So I'm gonna to have to come back in with a little plate, little triangle plate to plate that back in. So we're gonna move on to the other side and make the next plate. Okay, we just need to level the transmission. So this is showing us 2.6 degrees to the right. We'll just put this on the intake plenum up here. It's 2.5 to the right. I'll just make that quick a little adjustment and we'll get this tack welded up. Okay, so now I have everything tack welded together and now it's time for the exciting part. I'm going to run the starter motor again. It should engage the flywheel. Now this transmission is in neutral so it is going to spin the output shaft but I should be able to stop it with my hand. After we do that run, I'll throw it in gear and make sure everything is running properly. Let's give it a shot. Okay, everything is spinning freely within the transmission. Everything is lined up properly. In the meantime, I'm gonna get everything welded up. I'm gonna weld it while it's on the engine. That way the aluminum is bolted to can add it, work as a heat sink and pull some of the heat out because I really need to avoid distortion. So time to start welding. Okay, 
Okay, so I got everything all welded up. As you can see, I staggered my welds along here just to disperse some of the heat. So now, unfortunately, it's time to take everything all back apart again so we can get this thing painted up. All right, so here it is. This is the finished product of an adapter plate to put any engine to any transmission. This thing came out looking beautifully, and I can't wait to get this thing put back together. So once again, thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.